Hey guys, Tony Driftner here, and I'm doing Expendables 2 review. Anyway, my Expendables 2 review. Stop doing that. Anyway, I saw Expendables 2 last Wednesday, so sorry the review's a little late. I didn't see it, I didn't make this right after the movie because I was busy. But anyway, let's get back to the point. Expendables 2 is an awesome movie. I saw it with friends. It was awesome. So awesome. The entire cast is back along with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis who were, yes, in the first film, but their roles were short. They're in this movie, and I will say this is not a spoiler, they actually do stuff in this movie. It's not early in the movie, but they do do stuff. Also, Chuck Norris is in this movie, and I've always been that kind of person that likes Chuck Norris, but also dislikes Chuck Norris because when he stopped being an action star, it does both like his commercials. I felt like Chuck Norris was like, eh, and he wasn't as popular as he was since he wasn't active. But let me just say this, if you're a Chuck Norris fan, there's something in there for you, okay? You know what I'm talking about, you've seen The Expendables 2, it's awesome. He makes a reference, it's cool, I love it. It made me like Chuck Norris again. I still think Bruce Lee's better, but whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Van Damme is also in this movie, and, um... Uh, not really a spoiler alert, if you don't know who the villain is, you're going to be surprised by like, whoa, that's the villain. They also have uh, some new guy, uh, I don't know his name at the moment because he's the new guy in the recruit anyway, the new kid. Um, so yeah, um, if you've seen Expendables 1 in the first like action scene, this Expendables 2 is awesome. It's awesome. It's just like explosions, shooting, it's it's intense. The entire movie is intense. And like it's kind of overly ridiculous intense, but not so ridiculous you don't want to watch it. It's sort of kind of funny and ridiculous. Like there's this one scene, which is this is not a spoiler, it's not some plot. They're helping these people yeah yeah yeah, whatever they you know. Well this one guy comes around it's like the last guy, he comes around the corner and all of them have their guns and they basically shoot them. Like the the main Expendables team, not like Chuck Norris and all of them. But there's like five, six guys, they all shoot him. Or at least maybe four. They all shoot him with their guns. And he's like... <laughs> like, no, more or less he should probably explode, but... It's like, what? Well, like, you just shoot him once. And I don't mean they just like shoot him. Like, <laughs> like, they hold it down and like probably fire all their remaining ammo into this guy, but whatever. It, it's funny, it's kind of a little over the top, it's an action movie. Um, the, reference, the references in this movie to their other movies that they made, all the characters seem to make a reference to another character's movie. So it's really awesome. I love it. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10 in my view. Well, actually, a 9 out of 10. I take that back, a 9 out of 10 there is one thing, I don't want to spoil this, you'll probably see it, um, so I, cause I don't like giving away spoilers, so, 9 out of 10, because there's one character, and I'm gonna say who, is only in part of the first film, and then he's not in the rest of the movie, and it's like, eh, and it's sort of explained in the movie, and it's, I mean, you know, he doesn't, the character I'm talking about does not die or nothing, so it's not like that explained. It's not like, oh, he died, okay, I understand. No, it's, it's like he could come back, but he doesn't. So, um, yeah, it, it's really the only thing. But beyond that, it's a really good movie, and that's the only downside is that this character, who, he is a major character. He's not like some minor guy that walks in for two seconds and leaves. He's a major character. Um, so, yeah. Um... Including, also, if you have not seen the first movie, you can go ahead and just watch the second one. There's only, like, one scene which talks about what happened in the first movie, and that's it. You don't really, you know, you really don't need to see the second one. The first one, I mean, to see the second one. It's not one of those, they don't go back to the same place, they don't find the same bad guy. So, it's entirely a new story, you don't need to worry about that. So, it's good. I'm just saying, I didn't see the first one until, like, the day before. Or, not the day before, the weekend before, Saturday and Sunday, 
one of those two days I watched The Expendables 1 with my friend Andrew, who also went to go see The Expendables 2 with me. We saw that movie on Netflix. They're like, hey, you want to watch the first one? Like, sure. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, the movie was awesome. The movie was extremely good. It was awesome. I liked it. And, um, I recommend it. So, I know this is a little bit late. I'm sorry for that. But, hey, if you want to see Expendables 2, I totally recommend it. 9 out of 10. Only because of that one thing, which I think is the issue, which I don't I think they shouldn't have done. But whatever. You know, if you, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's just like, really? Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, come on. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I hope you all go see the movie. I hope you enjoy it. It is... It's a violent action movie. If you're not into that, okay. But the story isn't ridiculous. The story makes sense. All the characters, Sylvester Stallone... All of the characters from the first one are in it, um, and yeah, it's awesome. Um, along with Chuck Norris, like I said, he and Van Damme, they're the new characters in this movie. Um, they're good. Um, all of them are good. So yeah, so uh, if you haven't seen Spinnables 2, I totally recommend it. Go check it out if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. The next movie I review may be The Apparition, I believe that's the name of it. Maybe seeing that soon, that'll be my first, not my first horror movie, but the first movie I went to go see in a theater that's actually supposed to be scary. Because, yeah, it's really the only horror movie I've ever seen in theaters. Man, I think it's a little center horror, but whatever. It's a ghost movie that's like rated R, so it's a horror, but whatever. So, yeah, there's that. So that'll be the first movie I've seen like that. Hopefully I'll be seeing with a friend soon, but when I see it, I'll do a review on it. So catch you guys later, and thank you. Twain Jeff number out. Maggots! Ah, ha, 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 ha. ah explosions! Ah. Yeah.